This is 2 Ezra chapter 6, verses 54 to 55. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people, referring to the Israelites, also whom thou hast chosen. Verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, because thou madest the world for our sakes. So, Kahalayim, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakridash. I give double others to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone. Salutations to all you sincere Akim, pushing this word across the four corners of the world. We have an article right here from Dogo News, a heavy faith booster in the spirit. And it says right here, NASA, which is the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, confirms 6,000 planets beyond our solar system. And this article was published on October the 13th, 2025. And it says right here, for the past 30 years, scientists around the world have been searching for planets beyond our solar system, known as exoplanets. These worlds come in all shapes and sizes, each orbiting its own star. So yeah, exoplanet is a planet that orbits a star outside of our solar system. It hits the word exo, which is a prefix for the Greek, and it means outside. So it's no telling how many outside planets Yahweh Bahashim Yahshah has reserved unto his precious elect of the nation of Israel for the new world to come, which is the kingdom of heaven. And it says, on September the 17th, 2025, NASA officially confirmed the existence of 6,000 exoplanets. Even more exciting, an additional 8,000 are just waiting to be verified. This represents decades of space exploration driven by NASA telescopes, said NASA scientist Sean Damagal Goldman. It has completely changed the way we see the night sky. Exoplanets come in all shapes and sizes, some are rocky like Earth, with solid surfaces that could potentially support life. Others are massive gas giants, many times larger than Jupiter. They are made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Some planets have surfaces of molten lava that glow under their star's heat. Others are so airy, they almost seem weightless. A few exoplanets even have clouds made of shiny gemstones, creating skies unlike anything in our solar system. Every type of planet we discover tells us how planets form and how common Earth-like worlds might be, said Don Gelino, head of NASA's Exoplanet Exploration Program. If we want to know whether we are alone in the universe, this knowledge is essential. While NASA's powerful telescopes help, finding these planets is not easy. Unlike stars, planets give off almost no light. They are also thousands of times smaller than the stars they orbit. As a result, fewer than 100 exoplanets have been directly photographed. Most have been found through other methods. For example, the transit method looks for small changes in a star's brightness. When a planet passes in front of its star, it blocks a small portion of the light. By measuring this demi, scientists can tell a planet is there even though they cannot see it directly. Another way to find these distant worlds is by detecting tiny bends in a star's light caused by a planet's gravity. It is, therefore, not surprising that confirming a new planet takes years of careful observation. With so many exoplanets discovered, NASA is turning its attention to those most like Earth. Upcoming missions will study these planets more closely. This, however, would not be easy because stars shine billions of times brighter than their planets. To address this, NASA is developing advanced instruments that are designed to block out starlight. These tools could increase the chances of finding planets like ours and perhaps even alien life. So there you have it. And you can see how Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai are pouring that heavy spirit upon these different NASA scientists, engineers, researchers who are the forefront space exploration to boost the faith of the saints aka the first fruits of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, and to be mentally prepared and ready for the next kingdom to come. Because all these different exoplanets or planets Abaratazat very soon we will be inhabiting. 
It really, it all makes sense how the tabernacle of Esau, Edom, beginning with their higher ups, they want what's promised unto us, which is the blessing of the kingdom of heaven, immortality. And definitely all the immaculate perks that's going to be associated with the kingdom of heaven, including all these planets, which takes me right to Job 14 verse 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Hence the tabernacle of Esau Edom, which is why it's stated within Hebrews 12 and 16, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. So he's that vessel of dishonor that Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai has customized to be made crooked. And he cannot be made straight. Hence, he cannot be declared as a clean thing. He's the wicked according to the Bible. Which takes me right here to the point. Seeing his days are determined, which goes into decreed, the number of his months are with thee, thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Like for instance, you have a thing within science that's known as the Van Allen radiation belt. And the Van Allen belts are two regions of trapped radiation that surround the earth and protect it from harmful solar and cosmic rays. And the so-called powers that be are very limited on trying to get past that, like they're not able to. So therefore, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai has a spiritual Van Allen belt regarding Esau's rulership. And that's why these different NASA scientists, explorers, researchers are diving in heavy because they want to inhabit these exoplanets. But it's spiritual that they cannot be able to assess those different exoplanets because Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai has appointed a spiritual Van Allen belt that the tabernacle of Esau Edom cannot cross. And let's just say, hypothetically, they did have access to be able to travel to these different exoplanets. And by Esau being a fornicator, a profane person by birth, remember, he was created to be the wicked. Again, that unclean thing that cannot be made straight. Only thing he's going to do to those other planets is adulterate them and contaminate them. Just like how he's doing with the Most High Yahweh's footstool, which is the earth. So again, the Lord is just having these different NASA scientists, researchers, engineers, having them to sit their asses down to only discover and research these different exoplanets, which is ultimately building the faith of the saints of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the elect of the nation of Israel. And I came across some info not too long ago regarding NASA, again, which is the acronym or abbreviation for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. And once you look up the word NASA, which is spelled, of course, N-A-S-A -A in the Hebrew. Nasha or Nawasha. And once you go to the Strong's definitions, it says to lead astray, i.e. mentally to delude or morally to seduce, beguile, deceive, which are main characteristics that fits Esau Edom. So just jumping back to this article right here, how NASA confirms 6,000 planets beyond our solar system. Like, of course, those numbers can definitely be fabricated. Like, it's no telling how many planets out there that the hierarchy of NASA is not telling the public. So anything dealing with Esau Edom, especially dealing with his science and technology, you got to take it with a grain of salt. But even with this number right here, how NASA confirms 6,000 planets beyond our solar system, that's still a great number. And right here within the article we just read, it says even more exciting, an additional 8,000 are just waiting to be verified. So ultimately, Yahweh Shah is putting that work in because according to John 14 verses 1 to 2, and as you can see from the heading, Yahweh Shah comforts his disciples. And it says right here, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in Yahweh, believe also in me. In my father, Yahweh's house are many mansions. And let's get the word mansion right here within the Greek And right here for the Strong's definitions, it says a stand, 
i.e. residence, the ats are the place, abode, mansion. And from the outline of biblical usage, it says, a staying, a body, dwelling, abode, which goes into like a house. So these different exo planets that the forefront of NASA are discovering and putting forth out there to the public are nothing but reserved planets and more so jewels awaiting for the elect of the nation of Israel. So again, in my father, Yahweh's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. So when we read within the scriptures how Yahweh Shah is sitting on the right hand throne of the heavenly father, Yahweh, within the spiritual realm, you know, like the Most High Yahweh's crib, he's not just only sitting there. Because that term for the right hand, it also goes into authority. So therefore, Yahweh Shah, he's putting work in. So by Yahweh Shah being that bridegroom, he's prepping everything to a T for his newly wife his bride, the elect of the nation of Israel. And think about it like this. Yahweh Shah came as King Solomon within the process called reincarnation. And remember how long it took King Solomon in his glory to build his palace? 13 years. So you can just imagine how magnificent and luxurious that palace was. So fast forward to Yahweh Shah, our Lord and Savior, and being into his ultimate glory over 2,000 plus years, and really two days for him, putting forth those finishing touches on those Etso planets. And of course, many other things that he has been probably working on. So all of that is so exciting and comforting at the same time. Which again, while you see the heading, Yahawashah comforts his disciples. And remember, Yahawashah stated within Matthew 11, 28, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So by us taking that yoke of Yahweh Shah upon us, we are finding rest upon our souls via the Holy Scriptures. That true soulless consolation and that spiritual relief. Because we know what we are going through right now is all temporal. But what we do have coming hits these thousands, if not millions, of exoplanets. All of that is going to be eternal, which is associated with our eternal glory. So again, let not your hearts be troubled. Ye believe in Yahweh, believe also in me. In my Father, Yahweh's house are many mansions, going into many exoplanets, dwelling places, abodes. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And as it is written, here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And according to Lamentations, the third chapter, blessed is the man that hope and quietly wait for the salvation of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And let's get right quick. Isaiah 54, verse 2. Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitations. Spare not, lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy states. Like soon that Yahweh Shah brings forth his righteous great reset, the planet Earth is going to expand like on a great massive level. Because the two-thirds Israelites, which is a great number, that died on this side will be repopulated back into the next kingdom to come. And of course, that's the kingdom of heaven. And this Earth is not going to accommodate all those Israelites that are coming back, even with the expansion of the Earth. So where do you think that a lot of these Israelites will be dwelling at? These other exoplanets. Because again, according to 2nd Ezra, the 6th chapter, how the world was made for our saints. And also pursuant to Isaiah 60 verses 21 and 22, how all thy people should be righteous. Referring to the Israelites. And we are going to be so glorified that a little one should become a thousand and a small one, a strong nation. So that concludes the lesson through the spirit. We as the Israelites have a lot of great things coming towards us. And for the ones of us that's walking through that straight gate, we just have to go through these few hurdles. And after that, the kingdom of heaven, which is interchangeable with the kingdom of Yahweh Shai, is waiting there. So I'll provide this out with that. Hopefully you all was edified. You all stay strong. Keep pushing forward. Shalom.